58 of Series 3 have become a Legend Story Mode. Now if we try and forget about the last game against the farmers from the country that will remain nameless, we're actually on a pretty good run of form. We dispatched Watford pretty handily to begin the last episode, then Newcastle we beat with a clean sheet which is rare, and that was off the back of a win against Everton as well. Unfortunately we lost against United, but other than that we're doing pretty well and now we're going into a run of three very winnable games. Um, Villa, that should certainly be one even away from home that we win. We've got a London derby today against West Ham. Wolves may be the potential banana skin, but they're actually in 17th at the moment. They're not doing very well. Um, West Ham are above them. So three games in the league. We're currently sitting in third. Four points behind second place United. Liverpool leading the lead at the moment. Eggy is absolutely running away with the race for the golden boot and he's in great form. Will it continue today? Let's go and have a look at the sides. As we invite West Ham to Stamford Bridge. Oh, Eggy on a downward arrow. That's pretty rare. His form's pretty good normally. It's up to eight now. If we compare that to Morata, four, Hazard, six. I mean, we're sort of in Golo Kante levels of consistency when it comes to form and that is a big plus for Eggy, especially at such a young age. Uh, West Ham have got Charlie Musunda, that's an interesting signing for them. Uh, Montelivo, just behind Hernandez up top. We'll be going up against... Uh, ah, 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 that was not very good. Anyway, Wendell at left back, he looks to be pretty decent actually. 78 rated, we're really going to struggle on a downward arrow, already being this tired. So not scoring a goal and getting off at sort of 60 minutes actually would probably be a pretty good option for us. With another game coming in only a few days. Right, let's see how we get on. So Chelsea West Ham is one of those derbies where it's only really important to one of the sides. Yeah, I'm not sure if Chelsea fans really look at the fixture list and uh, try and work out when the West Ham game is going to be. They're, they're more of a minor inconvenience than a real contender. And uh, I think it's still games against Spurs. I think Millwall is a traditional derby for Chelsea. But yeah, I mean, there's a bit of needle in this one. Two sets of very passionate fans. But really, Chelsea have been leagues ahead of them since all of the Russian money came in. And we've started the season very well. Can we continue that today? Let's go. Eggy plays it back to Trent. Good ball in. Morata will jump for it. Oh, it's not far off. Just hitting the post there. First chance of the game. Falls to Chelsea. That was unlucky. Chicharito into Montalivo. Looks for the return. Gets it. And that is some finish. Beating big Willie-style Caballero. And that is the first opportunity that West Ham have had, and it has been very capably dispatched there by the Mexican. Let's take another look at that. Very simple. So 1-2, Montalivo back into Chicharito. David Luiz just lost it. Just lost the track of the ball completely. Not a good start. Morata out to Weggy. Can he put a good ball back into the Spaniard? Can't reach him, but we'll retain possession here. It's Alexander-Arnold. Put it wide into Weggy. Turns away from Wendell. Puts the ball in with the right foot. <laughs> Hazard has a go. Morata, decent effort. Easy save for Fabianski, though. Oh, Eggy read that well. Can we launch a break here? Eggy will step inside. Goes early into Morata. Inside to Loftus-Cheek. Now Eden Hazard. Keeps possession well. Just can't pick out the run from Eggy. They can't get it away. West Ham. Forced backwards here. By Chelsea. Eggy inside. Oh, that's a lovely ball into Loftus-Cheek. Oh, really unlucky. Eggy, great vision there to pick out the midfielder. Could have easily been one all. It's nice work here. Chelsea committing a lot of men forward, as you'd expect. Loftus-Cheek with a good run. Eggy into a great position for him, but he just couldn't get it goalward. Oh, that's really poor. And Eggy can pick it up. Finds Morata. He'll slip it into Eden Hazard. Surely. Oh, my God. What has happened to you this season, Eden? Into Morata. Eggy again sees the, the run from Loftus-Cheek. Oh, first time effort. Tess Fabianski again. It's equal. And that is actually a really good save. No ball releases the Brazilian Felipe Anderson. He'll bring it forward now. Cuts back. Oh, that's a good ball into Montalivo. Back to Hernandez. Doesn't find him. And that is really poor from Loftus-Cheek. No reason to be knocking that out like that. Oh, Hazard nicks it back. Really good opportunity here if he can find the ball out to Eggy. And can we find Morata with the simple one? Oh, come on. <laughs> we did everything right there. Everything right. Even Hazard Morata now have missed a couple of big chances between them. And that is half time here at the bridge. And there are some boos. There's some unhappy Chelsea fans. We certainly played our way back into it. 
And look at that, in the end, we created way more chances than they did, but Hernandez started the game off with a thundering strike. West Ham have been able to hold on to that lead, despite a lot of good chances for Chelsea, which unfortunately Morata and Eden Hazard just couldn't finish. They've not got the goal-scoring boots that Eggie's got on at the moment, unfortunately. We need a couple to fall to him in this second half. But he is tired and not on great form, so a little rest wouldn't be the worst thing. Oh, lovely ball in from Montalivo into Hernandez. Oh, he's put that wide. Thought that was going to be two there. West Ham starting the second half in the same way they started the first, but just couldn't quite finish that one off, thankfully. Otherwise, we really would be in trouble. Oh, great ball into Mark Noble. He can dig a cross out. Montalivo with the first-time effort. That is a stunning, stunning goal. That's a great signing for them, Montalivo. And he has got the second for them here at Stamford Bridge. Oh, dearie me. We're in such good form. Second proper shot of the game. Well, third shot of the game for West Ham. And Caballero beaten twice. Where is Kepper? That's what I want to know. So the hour mark comes and goes. And Eggy is off. He was very, very tired. He actually didn't play that badly in the first half, considering he was on a downward arrow. But not able to do anything in the second half. We've got a mountain to climb here. As Eggy is replaced by Martinez. And West Ham seem to be running things. This is not... How we expect to continue our streak of wins in the Premier League. Right, we'll join the action if anything happens. So, really, really bad day at the office there for Chelsea. I mean, I know I put two jinxes on this one. First of all, I uh, made the big mistake of calling it a very winnable set of games today. And then I said that Chelsea aren't really that bothered about West Ham. And clearly, it's got them riled up. Because they've come out here. And, I mean, it was an absolute daylight robbery, really. They had two shots on target. Scored twice. I think Willy Caballero might have been a factor in that. And Chelsea created a lot of chances, just weren't able to finish any of them off. Eggy didn't play for long, still managed a 6.5. He was good. Set up Loftus-Cheek, Hazard and Morata for what should have been goals in the first half. Not good enough. So we really need Kepa back in goal, don't we? That was poor and we dropped down now nine points below Liverpool. Still very congested at the top of the table. West Ham move up into 10th with that win. On the same points as Manchester City. Four losses so far, only one draw, eight wins. Goal difference is pretty poor. We've been chipping a lot of goals, we've known that's an issue. Eggy 85 rated now, that's absolutely mental. Can't quite keep up the goal a game ratio, but it's not far off. Ball control, place kicking have all recently increased, still looking very strong. And Eggy makes it into the November team of the month. Excellent, as does Trent. And Eden up front. I don't know how Eden Hazard is in there. I'm sure he's done nothing. But anyway, four days later, let's bounce back with the away game against the underperforming Wolf side this season. They're not having quite the season that they had when they first came into the Premier League. But they're still there in the Premier League. And uh, Harry Kane just slightly closing on us now. Was he on eight before? Anyway, yeah, as we can see there, Eden Hazard can take a bitter defeat against West Ham United. Never a happy time losing against a London rival, even if it is just West Ham. Let's bounce back. Oh, Victor Moses in today. Eggy tired and on a sideways arrow. Danny Drinkwater gets a start. This is an uninspiring team to be in. No Hazard, no Loftus-Cheek, no Barkley. Hmm, okay, at least we've got Kepper in goal. That's good. Um, no left-back to deal with here. Will Cavalero be doing his uh, defensive duties? Hopefully not for Eggy. There'll be space down that right-hand side. We can get back in the goals and back into winning ways. Let's do it. So here we are, under the lights here at Molyneux. Not a huge trip up to the Midlands. Or is it the Midlands? Are we, are we higher than the Midlands? I know it's roughly that, isn't it? Wolverhampton. Is it the Black Country? I don't know. Anyway, as we said, Wolves not had a great start to the season. They are languishing dangerously close to the relegation zone. It should be, again, should be a team that we can be dispatching fairly comfortably. But with Victor Moses in today, drink water in midfield. I'm not too confident. Drink water. Spreads it well into Emerson. Emerson back to Victor Moses. Passes exchanged here. Edge of the box. That's a cheeky ball into N'Golo Kante. Can he take it down and find Eggy? Oh, ho, ho, that was cheeky. Oh, it'll fall into Eggy anyway. It was almost an absolute worldie though. Eggy with the very nice little backheel flick from the ball in from N'Golo Kante. Oh no, it just came off a Wolves defender. Eggy adapted well, but then he was there just to smash that one home after taking it down well on his knee. And we're off the mark straight away. Jimenez, good running there. Finds Cavalero. His touch takes him wide. Waiting for reinforcements. Into Ronan, edge of the box. 
Miranda with the challenge. And another challenge comes in. And Eggy can flick it into Morata. Who will return the favour. And Eggy can drive at this Wolves defence. He look a little bit frightened of him. And he goes away from Dendonka inside. Looks to curl one. Oh, off the post. <laughs> Jesus. That would have been gorgeous. Moses edge of the box into Weggy. Turns away from Moutinho. Oh, lucky. Pretty sure there's a massive foul in the process there. We'll play on. Van Ginkle. Oh, nice ball. Moses into Weggy. Gets the shot off just wide. Eggy looking dominant here today. High ball. Looking for Morata. Lovely header on into Weggy. He'll put a ball over the top looking for Moses. Gets to it ahead of Adama Traore. Great battling from Victor Moses. Back to Weggy. Hits it first time. This is a good save from the Wolves keeper. Really lovely ball over the top here from Eggy. Just searching for Victor Moses. Gets the better of Adama Traore. It's a good cut back into Eggy. Difficult angle. It's a good save. Short corner. Morata. It'll fall here. Nicely. Very nicely for Victor Moses. Who doubles our advantage here. We weren't too excited about seeing him in the side today. But he's got us a goal. And we're looking pretty comfortable. Traore. Turns passes with Matinho. Looks to get away from Emerson. Cross is blocked. And Moses can pick it up. And find N'Golo Kante. Eggy inside of him, but he goes into Morata. Oh, this is neatly worked. Morata now will get it just on the edge of the box. Back to Eggy. Lovely first touch. Difficult angle here. Oh, that was meant to be a pass. Back to Victor Moses. Couldn't super cancel quick enough. It's unlucky. Great counter attack, though. Oh, Eggy can pick that up. And then drive forward. Uses Victor Moses. That's a great ball. Back inside to him. Sees drink water. Edge of the box. Eggy with the left foot. Oh, it's a good hit. Another good save. Eggy could have had an absolute hatful in this game so far if it wasn't for some great goalkeeping. This is really neatly worked. I like the quick one-two. Back from Danny Drinkwater. He knows who should be taking the shots in that situation. Eggy very close to getting a third here. This half time is nearly upon us. We will have a corner. He's made a good run here. Oh, Eggy on the rebound. <laughs> yes. The poacher. Oh, the Indonesian poacher. Poached Eggy. There it is. There it is. Poached Eggy. Is that the title for this episode? Quite possibly. Eggy. I mean, he just, he just pops up. It's like a little terrier ratting around the box. What was that? It's a good save. It's a difficult angle, actually. Poached eggs. Finished neatly. Can Wolves create a chance before the end of the half? Jimenez on the turn. Oh, I think he was offside or something. Oh, there was a foul in the build-up. This is a really dangerous position here. Ruben Neves can certainly hit him. 30 seconds left of the half. Neves doesn't get it over the wall. And that will slowly roll into touch. No, nope, Johnny keeps it in. And Traore on the turn. Will they have a chance here? Jimenez with the header. Oh, just wide of Kepa's goal. Kepa had very little to do in that half. Only one shot on target. But we were dominant. Great performance from Chelsea and from Eggy. He's got two. He's on for another Premier League hat-trick. Let's go and get it. Kante on the turn. Finds Morata. Eggy just wants it square for the hat-trick. The rebound. Oh. <laughs> got to get the hattie now. We've got a long time left to score a third goal. This Wolves defence have been very agreeable when we've been running at them. They don't seem to know how to handle Eggy. Neves. Out swinger. It's a good header away. Oh, and Eggy can get to it. He can launch a break here. Down this right-hand side. He's got too much pace for the Wolves players trying to get back. Oh, he's got lots of options here. One of which is Morata. Oh, it's a beautiful ball over the top. Finish it, Alvaro. Yes. Well, we get an assist at least, even if we don't get the hat-trick. We've got Alvar Morata, a much-needed goal. It's been a little bit dry in terms of goal scoring. Certainly compared to when we joined the club. He seemed to be scoring for fun, but it's a good run there. Very well found by Eggy. So many options. Wolf defenders didn't know what to do. They didn't follow the striker. And he puts away our fourth today. Lovely work. So there we go. A comfortable away win for Chelsea. No hat-trick for Eggy, but it was mainly fatigue that was the problem. Didn't really have the legs to find a third, especially as Wolves had really shut down. They were very, very poor today. Eggy looked great. Created so many chances. Could have had five or six goals easily. Look at that. 14 shots on target. Their keeper had a good day, despite... Shipping four, Eggy with a 7.5, two goals and an assist. Not a bad day's work for the Eggman. And that should see us.
back into third. That'd be nice. 4 0. Lovely work. No, nope, we stay in fourth. The City winning as well. Still nine points behind Liverpool. They've only lost one game and only drawn one game this season. They're having a great time. Only conceded six goals in 14 games. That is a miserly defence. Everton sneaking up. Arsenal and Spurs dropping down. We're looking okay. We're looking good. Some games we should be winning. The West Ham one, very disappointing. 18 and 19. Close to it. That would be an incredible way to finish the season with a goal a game. We're certainly well in the running for the golden boot at the moment. A goal a game as a winger would be, I mean, that would be a world-class season for Eggy. I think we're already getting there. Poached egg sneaking in with a couple of cheeky goals. 15 goals this season for the winger. Wow. And now we travel again to the Midlands to take on Aston Villa. They've got Jack Grealish looking good. Eggy on an upward arrow today. Hazard back in. Up against Steve McQueen at left back. I don't know who that is. Something McQueen. 72 rated. They've got some pretty poor players in their defence. 69 rated. Check this out. James Chester. We've got Bakayoko, ex Chelsea man. That's a good signing for them. But really, as with the last game, we should be winning here. Kepper in as well. Alexander Arnold. It's a very, very strong side. With Eden Hazard's poor form, it's interesting that Eggy is starting to really feel like an Eden Hazard type player every time the ball comes to him. Wherever he is on the pitch, he just looks dangerous. He always drives forward, always so positive. And now he's got the confidence to be taking shots, taking chances. And, I mean, the poaching side of his game, you know, the, the born goal scorer in him is an incredible attribute for a winger to have as well. He always seems to be in the right place at the right time. A little bit like ex-Chelsea man Frank Lampard. Just seems to make his runs at the right time. And it's getting us a lot of goals. Jorginho out to Eggy. Wants it from Alexander-Arnold. He's going to wait for the overlap. And takes his time and plays it back. No hurrying here for Chelsea. Kante back to Barkley. This is neatly worked. Ross Barkley now into Eggy. Little flick round the corner into Arnold. Eggy's through here. Low ball into Morata. We're off the mark. Yes. More assists for Eggy Milana Vickery. And that is great. Patient build up there from Chelsea. Lovely flick. And then he spins... Trent knows exactly where he's going. He knows exactly what the plan is. As does Alvaro Morata, who just ghosts ahead of his defender and finishes easily. Jack Grealish now into Jonathan Kogia. One back and now Eggy. Can drive through the middle. Blue shirts everywhere. So many options. But it's all opened up for him here. Eggy with the effort. That's far too easy. <laughs> Villa's defending there. It's like Swiss cheese full of holes for Eggy to exploit deliciously as well I mean what are they doing Horahan just didn't fancy it didn't fancy the run I mean there's a couple of defenders there who are doing absolutely nothing and as we approach the penalty spot it was an easy finish for Eggy and another goal to add to his tally for the season and we're two up here with 10 minutes to go in this first half so last kick of the half here and it's going to be a corner to Chelsea falls into the box Eggy's not far away from that and it's headed over well Pretty decent, pretty decent. Was it an assist to start off from Eggy? It was for Morata. And then a very easy goal for him as Aston Villa just gave up. So we've not been on top massively. We're not dominating, but we're two goals up. And that really says a lot about how bad Villa have been. Jack Grealish now into the Chelsea penalty area. Plays it back to El Ghazi. He's got Kajia in the box. Lovely little back heel into Clavero. It's a good bit of defending there. Really smart. Oh, Eggy can't get away from McQueen. Not a good place to lose the ball. And McQueen has bombed on here. Eggy gets back, but not particularly well. But that's good defending in the end. And it needed to be there. It's Kajia looked to be in. Eggy with the flick, looking for Morata. Now Eden Hazard down the line into Eggy as he stayed on side here. He has. Steps away from Twanzibi. Back to Morata. Wow, that's a good finish. That's a very good finish. Eggy the creator again. Alvaro Morata must be absolutely loving playing with a man in such great form as Eggy Milana Vickery. Steps away from Twanzebi. Twanzebi, but there's a lot in that finish, really. Eggy is a simple ball back, but that is a stunning finish on his weaker foot. Eggy into Morata. Barkley can find Eden Hazard here. Eggy and Alvaro Morata there with him, but Hazard's gone alone. He cuts back. Oh, finally, finally, that's the Eden Hazard we know and love. And it's another four goals here for Chelsea. Finally a goal for their talisman. Can he play his way back into form with the confidence that this will surely give him? Lovely cut back inside. Onto that right foot. Easy finish. 
And we're cruising here. And there we are. Comfortable win again. Much, much better. Eggy at the heart of it once more. And Eden Hazard and Morata, both with good goals today. That's what we need. We need all of that front three to be clicking. Not just Eggy. He's not going to be able to pull us, well, up the league. Where's our... Where are we aiming for now? We've started to come into a good bit of form. Yes, to be fair, the teams we're playing against, the teams we should be beating. And with that in mind, the West Ham result was actually particularly disappointing because... As a team we should be beating. I think dropping Kepa for that was just a madness from uh, Sarri. I don't know what he was playing out there. City, they're not dropping points either. But our goal difference getting a little bit better now with two pretty heavy wins. And Arsenal, they're five points behind us. So a little bit of daylight there happening. We want to be finishing fourth or above. I think that's the goal really, isn't it? And Eggy with not just 19 goals this season, but 15 assists in 20 games. That is absolutely massive. His passing has improved a lot. The relationship between the front three i think that's really starting to grow and that is key so next episode we're back into the europa league and this game against feyenoord now after the santra glare result is a big one really important lukaku he must have scored an absolute bucket load in the last couple of games he's now well he must have scored at least five so he's now only four goals behind us but we're not too fussed about that so anyway yep europa league have to win and then cardiff at home in the league hopefully another comfortable win and then it's a big one. End of the next episode. Wow, two big games in a row. City and then Liverpool. Crucial games for the complexion of the league. Join me for that one. I'll see you in a bit.